Hey viewers, L7 here. Just this is just a quick EDC update. I'm going to do a full EDC video pr pretty soon uh, when I have the time, but I figured I'd throw something in um, before the year's over. I need to do like an overall 2017 uh, EDC setup. I did one last year for the summer of 2016, and the video did pretty well. Um, as always, I'm still carrying the Makarov uh, pistol. Uh, it's been doing great for me, and I, I've been changing parts here and there. I also got this new magazine pouch, which I'm going to talk about. This is the original magazine that came with it. Um, so, yeah. Let me begin by saying I used to, in my previous video, I think from last year, yeah, I've been doing it for over a year, I would carry my mackerel with a magazine, and then I would have a single leather spare pouch. Um... Earlier, maybe like two months back, I don't know what happened. I went out to do a photo shoot, had my mackerel with me, and a the single leather magazine pouch. And then when I came home, I changed my outfit. And since that day, I have not been able to locate um, my magazine in the leather pouch. I've searched in my bedroom everywhere. <laughs> and I know I came home with it, obviously. Um... I changed my outfit, and I don't I don't know what happened to the magazine pouch, which is a bummer, because it's a good magazine. Uh, Macro magazines are kind of expensive. Um, I've actually come across a good source to get them at a good price, but um, they're, they're not super cheap uh, compared to some other magazines out there. And that magazine is loaded with uh, Hornady's critical defense rounds. Again, I've been checking in my room everywhere, but I can't find it. So, I just said, you know what, I'm just going to order two new magazines. Um, these magazines are from Russia. So is this magazine pouch. Let me uh, adjust the focus here. Uh, this just came in today, this magazine pouch. It was supposed to come in last week. The retention on this leather is astounding. Um, these are also the magazines with the, the hump. I've never had macro magazines like that before. Uh, this is a Russian mag without the hump. And then uh, this magazine here, as well as the one I misplaced, is these are from Bulgaria. These don't have the hump either. Um, it doesn't matter if it has a hump or not. Uh, it'll work just fine in the pistol. The reason why the humps exist are to um, cover the this part of the magazine, which is quite sharp. So from what I've gathered online. Uh, they added this here to extend the life of leather holst um, pouches because I guess this stuff would cut into it and eventually wear them down. Um, so yeah, this magazine pouch is really well made. Uh, much better than the one I had before. Uh, putting the magazines in, because I'm right handed, so I have these on the left side. Now I'll demonstrate this in the video whenever I get around to doing it. But... Um, like, this is really tough to close. There's so much tension here. And again, the, the magazines, they have a lot of good re retention already. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe cutting this off. Possibly. I imagine the retention here might loosen up. But uh, to get the pouches in place, you really got to cinch that down. I've been working at this for a while, so the leather is loosening up. But you really got to cinch it down. It's a really tight click. There it goes, there goes one. And, um, yeah, this one's a pain too. Move the macrov out of the way. There, that one goes. So, the more I play around with it, the better it gets. So, I may not really need to snip this off. Uh, but this came from Russia. I got this via eBay. Uh, the magazines I got from pretty much a Russian website. Um, they're in great condition. When they showed up, they had like Cosmoline on them. So I took that off, and then now they're all loaded up and ready to go. I uh, definitely want to practice some drills with shooting the Makarov and then reloading, changing mags, and so on. I put on the original target grip. I used to hate this thing, but it's not really that bad. Uh, I just don't care for this. Uh, if I could get a grip where it's this on both sides, that'd be really great. Because depending on the outfit I'm wearing, 
um, sometimes they do change the grip. I used to, for like the past year, carry the PMG grip by Fab Defense, but I kind of got a little fed up with it, and it was a pain in the butt to install, and even worse to take off, but I figured I'd just change it for now. Um, I do miss the quick magazine release, though. That's a bummer. I miss it a lot. Um, I am thinking about picking up the dozer grip and then maybe doing a video review on that grip. It's similar to a more basic grip, but the, the magazine's release is here instead. Instead of the PMG requiring you to flick the switch there, you push down. Sort of like pressing a magazine release on a normal pistol. I also have the glow on night sights, so if I shut off this light and just bear with me a moment. Do, do, do. Da, da, da. So yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. Um, it's only last about like an hour or so, the glow on stuff. I actually have some on the table there, that's why it's lit up. But um, you can charge it with a black light or a really bright EDC light. I'm going to be doing a review on this light soon. This is a Firelight Ultra. Or sh what is this? Ultra Fire. Sorry about that, it's an Ultra Fire. It's a zoomable one, and I carry that on my person all the time, as well as that Kershaw Shuffle I um, reviewed somewhat recently. So this is pretty much the setup I've been going with. Um, I'm going to start carrying with two mags. The construction on this, let me get the light back on, is really good, and um, it just sits really flat against your body. It does This does not really print at all. Um, then I'm always carrying the Vetter Holsters Light Tuck. If you'd like to see the full video review of this product, that is on my channel. Fantastic, phenomenal holster. Can be used for appendix, and then depending on the outfit I'm wearing, like a button-up, um, I sometimes carry it on the side canted, like a 5 o'clock position. So that's pretty much it for the overall setup. I haven't had too much time to play around or um, take the macro out to the range due to uh, this semester just being he hectic and such, but I have a lot of loaded rounds ready to go uh, so I can get some new videos out. Then I think I'm going to do a bulk order of like steel cased ammo um, just for range ammo. Nothing because usually when I shoot my hand loads, I try to shoot for great accuracy and I don't really get to shoot for like uh, reloading drills or anything like that. So um, I think I might put a hundred bucks towards picking up a um, a big bulk order of like uh, brown bear again or wolf because um, that stuff's not terrible it's just pretty dirty so yeah that's really it for the video uh, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for drills involving multiple magazines I'd like to hear it from you guys and I'm not sure if I should snip this uh, these leather latches here I don't think I will I figure this will get a little easier but I like how this is sort of out. Um, they don't really make Kydex magazine pouches for the Makarov, and that's sort of what I want, because this is kind of slow. You gotta pop it open, then reach in for the mag, and then give it a, a good pull. But then um, sometimes when you pull the magazine up, this tries folding back over, so it kind of gets stuck. Uh, but I imagine with practice, that'll get better. As so... Um, for the CZ P10C, the suppressor ready model, plan on making that my next carry gun whenever that actually comes in. It's supposed to be shipping at the end of the month, and um, I'll have enough funds to pick it up. So, uh, hopefully, that comes around. I can get some magazines for that. I'll probably get a Better Holsters Light Tuck for it because I really do enjoy this holster, and I wouldn't mind having it for the P10C. So, yeah, that's really all I got for the video, guys. Again, any comments or anything like that, um, expect a full EDC video coming up, and then um, that's really it. I just got to get this new camera set up, and then I did mention, this is going to sound weird to my firearm subscribers, but I did mention um, when I do get my next camera, uh, where I can shoot in 4K and such, I'll be making new YouTube channels, and one of them is actually going to be like a, fat, a men's fashion channel. Um, not to be girly or anything, but uh, just it's... Some of the videos are going to have, um, the topic is going to be concealed carry, um, concealed carrying in different outfits, um, because I know a lot of guys that just wear, like, I don't know, just the regular dad outfit, uh, jeans and, like, a slightly oversized t-shirt, and 
I don't know, you can dress it up and still carry a firearm, regardless of what you're wearing. If you're wearing chinos, a button-up, a uh, suit, you could, whatever the occasion is, because sometimes you, I don't know, some people got things to do. Uh, so if you got to dress up for an event or something like that, um, there's definitely ways to carry a firearm. And I've carried my Makarov on numerous occasions for dates, um, events, etc., etc., it doesn't really matter what you wear, you can be stylish and still carry a firearm. Um, there's, and there are some cases where the Makarov actually is too big for certain outfits. And then in that case, I'd carry the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. Not a fan of that pistol, but a gun is better than no gun. And um, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard is actually a pretty, pretty good pocket pistol. Uh, the trigger is so heavy, it's like a double act. It's a heavy double action. It's like a safety. Uh, just put it in your pocket without anything else in the pocket. Or you can get one of the pocket uh, holsters, which is probably more recommended, more safe to do. And uh, that's not a bad setup. So uh, whenever I have that fashion channel out, uh, expect to see some concealed carry um, videos posted there time to time. So yeah, that's all I got for this video, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And um, definitely leave me your comments, questions, and concerns. I'll have a full EDC video up soon. Uh, Thanksgiving break is next week, so I'm trying to pump out as many videos as I can. Also, the Glow On review for these night sites will be out, and so will the iTarget, the at-home um, target training system. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This is L7, signing out.